Hello, everybody. It's Tuesday night, and I'm MC Tune, and that means we've got a discussion on Flat Earth. And let me, all right, let me get it up here. I've got um, Adam King. Oh, hold on. I don't have it yet. Hold on. They can hear you if, if you talk. Go ahead. Say something. Hello. Howdy. There we go. I got to get your uh, your your Zoom set up so they can see you as well as hear you. And there it is. They can see you now. Welcome, oh, Adam. Uh, hi, guys. Uh, so we ran into each other on Facebook. We did. Um, was it? It was under Bryce Mitchell's uh, thing, right? It was, yeah. So for for those who don't know, Bryce Mitchell um, had uh, challenged Joe Rogan to debate Flat Earth. And I'm like, well, Joe Rogan doesn't debate Flat Earth, but I do. So, hey, Bryce, how about you debate me? Well, he has since accepted, and uh, we, we haven't yet figured anything out, but he has said that he will debate me on this, uh, on uh, Flat Earth. So, Respect. Are, are you are you a, a Bryce Mitchell fan? You must be to, to be uh, Massively. on I, I do. Um, I fight myself. Um, Bryce oh. Mitchell is a very outspoken Christian. And when he was born again and giving glory to God, I started following him. Um, I just like his style, Arkansas baby. So I'm a big fan of Texas. I'm a big fan of the culture, and I'm a big fan of men being masculine and standing up for God. Have so, you have you been to Arkansas or Texas? No, I became a prepper years ago in my head, and I was going to move to Texas um, and buy land. Then I was going to move to New Zealand, and then I ended up in Thailand. So I looked around at moving around the world. Uh, I ended up in Thailand evangelizing, and then I came home to evangelize. Okay, and so you're you're back in in uh, jolly old England, sunny old England, yeah, northern England. Pip pip, tidy ho. <laughs> well, you can't be that far north because you're not from Gateshead. No, which, Gateshead, which, horrible. Which is that's the armpit of England, as far as I'm uh, aware. Yeah, it is the armpit of England. <laughs> When when I first uh, for full uh, disclosure here, when I first was talking to him, he was sending me voice messages on on uh, Facebook, and I'm like, "Wait, are are you from are you from Northern Eng Like, I didn't say Gateshead because you know that's just too much. I said, "What did I say? I said um, Newcastle." Newcastle, yeah. No, I'm not. It's a strong accent, um, but yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, without uh, without without any more uh, talking. Let's uh, let's get into it. You say that the Earth is flat, and so mm -hmm. I'm I'm a bit I'm a bit um, unconvinced. Cool. Oh, my opinion's not relevant. Um, if I said to you, "This is a pink peach," this is this is a pink peach. Everyone, th this is a pink peach. Um, it's not. It's a green cushion. It's a stripy green cushion. So um, God bless us with senses, um, and we can test those. It's called critical thinking. So using critical thinking, I'm sure we will be able to, to find out the earth. We have um, equations and, and things that we observe all the way through our life that are unchangeable, that, that we can up is up, down is down. This is a solid table. We have, oh, my cat's just got really late. <laughs> we have things in how we can test them. So I like to not throw out loads of information and say this person said this and this test said that. I like to give, make people aware of the tools that we have that we all share and we all agree on and test the reality that we live in. It doesn't matter what I believe. Doesn't matter what you believe. That's opinion. Truth is not subjective. So um, testing things. Um, when we wake up in the morning and we see the sun, according to NASA, it's ninety-three million miles away and change. And the moon, which we landed on in nineteen sixty-nine, but haven't been back to, uh, yep. is twenty-four thousand miles away. <coughs> And change, they just so happen to eclipse. They just so happen to eclipse. So, you know, they could do. So we do see two 
um, shapes in the sky roughly the same size. Well, the same size because the eclipse, from our perspective. Yeah, but that there's some variation. So some some so, eclipses so we, this the moon completely covers the sun, and some eclipses it's inset all the way around. Okay. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. But it, we can get it perfect. Yeah. We can we can experience it a perfect eclipse, perfectly round object. Yeah. So that that is um, just randomness, just randomness. Okay. Now in the morning, when I wake up, I see the sun rising up, coming out smaller, and then as it comes to me on the flat Earth model, it gets bigger and bigger. Yeah. And then as it's set and it goes to its largest point in the, in the day, and then it starts going smaller and smaller and smaller and disappears behind the horizon. Have, so have we you measured the size of the sun, actually? I've, I've got eyes and I've lived for 35, 35 years. So you didn't measure. Morning, okay, okay. In the morning, we perceive the sun to be smaller and then it grows in size. If we are in a constant orbit, if we are in a loop with it, we should always see the sun as the same size. There should be no variation in size. We are in an orbit. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, my experience is that the sun does not change in size. Okay. Well, tomorrow you could check it out. What is I've, great about the, I've these... Checked it. I've checked it out. Okay. It doesn't that, change that's size. Your, that's your opinion. This is my opinion. What I'm doing is giving people the tools to test them out. So in the morning... When they wake up, you can see how big the sun is. In the middle of the day, when it's at its highest, they can see how large it is. They can measure it with the fingers or with a little tool, however they want to measure it from their perspective. Yeah, so it's just giving these, these, these tools how we could test it, and it wouldn't matter what I say or what, what you say. Um, it would, be, it would, it would um, master the reality of the thing. Now, um, Mike... Um, could you tell me about properties of light? What's a basic property of light? Basic property of light. Yeah, any, any properties of light. Describe light uh, to me. It's, it's made of photons. Made of photons, okay, cool. Does it I, I, don't know what you, I don't know what you're getting around, getting at. Okay, do, does, does light travel in straight lines? Uh, not always. No, there are things that make it um, not straight. Okay, what would that be? Uh, well, you can you can see my my glasses. Refraction is is a refraction. Yeah, yeah. So it has to refract. And, and gravity has been confirmed to bend light as well. Gravity has been confirmed to bend light. Could you give me the yeah. equation for gravity? Uh, the the equation for gravity that'd be the you need Einstein's field equations for that. It's ten different equations. Um, is it repeatable and provable? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Good Eddington so Eddington tested it in 1919 and confirmed it then, and it's been confirmed since then. Okay. Have you ever have you ever asked um, the scientists today? Say they still don't understand how to describe gravity. They say it's a shape that draws things in. Mass draws things in, and they can't really fully describe it. Um, well, who's the big actor that everyone follows? Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. It, I mean, he's the modern spokesperson for for NASA. And he'll say it, it, it's a, 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 um, size affecting time or, or something like that. It, they can't really describe it. They can describe the effects around things, but yeah. the, it, yeah. it's, it's very difficult to describe gravity. So even in 2022, we describe what we see around things. So gravity isn't fully understood. But it doesn't, it, you don't have to fully understand something to be able to understand that it does certain things and follows certain rules, right? It follows certain so, so, like for example, when when Snellis figured out what later became call, called uh, Snell's law, or when Descartes did it, and in France they call it Descartes' law, um, they didn't understand why light refracted the way it did. The all that they understood was that it did refract, and by how much, and by by what <laughs> properties. So, so they did not understand how it worked but they knew that it did work and they they figured out the rules about how it worked and since then many people have developed glasses and camera lenses and all yeah, sorts of I things mean, I, without I, I without any understanding of how it works yeah 
I, I understand that it does do it. So is space, it's a vacuum. Yeah, there's, there's nothing to refract it off. Uh, in space, it, there is a positive pressure in space, but the, it's less than, than at the, the surface of the Earth. Space, space is a vacuum. No, not a perfect vacuum. I've never heard this. Sorry. Okay, very interested to see some, some information on this. So light diffracting, so, so you're saying light diffracts, when we see something 93 million I, miles... I said re refracts, not diffracts. Diffract, diffraction, the, the different things that yeah. they're, they're describing, say light moving at different angles from a straight line to changing the direction or dispersing through um, a substance. Yeah? Uh, refraction is, is when light moves from a medium, uh, between mediums of different indexes of refraction and it bends towards the normal. Okay, cool. Um, I'm I'm not a scientist. Um, I I study these kind of things for hobbies. I always have. Um, so when something's ninety three million miles away, the, the the sun's absolutely massive. The Earth is really really far away. Really really far away. Now we expect, you know, where kids draw pictures of straight lines coming off the sun. Yeah. So something ninety three million miles away to something that's a flake. Like doesn't even show up, basically. Why do we experience shadows that lengthen in the day from something having no shadow to a shadow? I think Bryce Mitchell actually uses the example on his wall, which is a really simple one because it allows people to see. Okay, why why am I experience, why am I not seeing just light come straight down? Well, it does. Yeah, light light rays are very close to parallel. Okay, so how do you explain shadows? How do I explain shadows? Well, something gets yeah. in the way of the light. So a cloud gets in the way of the light. Yeah, yeah. And that would and that would give off straight lines. Yeah, very so very you, close to straight lines. Yes. Are you, do you do you ever change your viewpoint when presented new information, or are you defend sure, it? Sure. Yeah. If you had new information. Okay, so have you, have you, since looking into the flat Earth, ever had anything to go, mm, actually, 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 have you, have you seen anything? What's the best, best argument for uh, flat I, Earth that you've come across? None. They're all tied for last. Really? I mean, there's some that are more entertaining than others, uh, but, but none, <laughs> none that I've found that were I actually very your integrity impressive. In, 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 I won't attack the character of the person. It's not correct. It's attack ideas, not people. Okay. Um, that's very interesting. So you're stuck in one place. Not like science you evolved. No, your, no. Your... I, I'm glad to. I'm glad to move on. Is is? I just no, need no, no, to, no, you fine. know. There needs to be something that's you know. Okay. So are you aware sense. of the moonlight? It reflects off the sun. I, I know the the scientific model of, of no, no, space. The... Sun, to sunlight to the moon. Moon reflects the sun. Sunlight yes. to us. Yes. I'm expecting sometimes I say the wrong things, yeah. but I'm meant to mean what so, I yeah, say. It's okay. Um, so you would presume it would be hot heat, wouldn't you? It, it's it's not very hot. No, it's because but, because oh. of how light works. The the um, the light that's reflected cannot be any hotter than the thing that it's reflected off of. And the moon, the surface of the moon in daylight is about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's about the hottest that it can be uh, if it's concentrated here. Can light get colder than non-light? No, it, it's impossible. It violates the first law of thermodynamics. The big Fantastic. problem. It'd be cool if somebody ever found that. That'd be a Nobel Prize for sure. It's very interesting. Uh, have you ever been outside when there's a full moon on? I have, no yeah. One Many of us have. This is, this is giving people the tools to test these things tonight, tomorrow, yeah. whenever. Have you ever seen one of those th thermal testers where you can press it and it'll test different areas with a laser? Yeah, I have one in the other room. Fantastic. Is it? Is the uh, moon out? Just want to look out the window. Uh, I, it's it's not at the time because it's still day daytime here. Okay. So if it was... Um, warmer in the shadows and cooler in the moon's light. So the moon can cast its own light and it can create its own shadows at nighttime. They're very, very light, very dark. They're, 
there's not much variation in them, but the, the you know moonlight does ca- does throw shadows. Yeah. Um, so if you were to test the temperature of um, something in the moonlight and something in the the shadow, yeah, which would you expect to be um, warmer? Well, when I did the test myself. You've done the, I've done the test myself. Yeah, I personally did the test myself. I set up a table and six feet away or two meters away from that table, I set up a vertical shade to block the sunlight or the moonlight, right? So I had the table here and six feet away, I had the, the, the vertical shade. It was 10 feet tall. And the table that I had here, there was nothing above it at all. And I had two sides and I kept, I kept the table. I had to move the table. Every little, yeah, yeah. every few minutes, so that one side was in the shade and one side was in the moonlight. And every I tested. Few minutes. Yes, every fifteen minutes, I tested it for um, almost three hours. I think. Why would you not let? Why would you not let something be in shade for a long period of time and just leave no, it? No, it was it constantly in the shade. Never left the shade. Now, but because the moon moves across the sky, I had to move the table. Because because I either the shade had to move or the table had to move. Because the angle between the shade and the table and the moon kept changing, I could, couldn't. Could I couldn't make the moon the stand still. Could you? Could you not just test the back of a tree and the front of a tree? Uh, you know, outside. I, I did my yeah. test how I did my test. Right. So what I did is I set up. I set up a vertical shade, okay. so that so that so that it would block the moonlight, but it wouldn't block anything from getting up. Right. There wasn't anything directly above the table. And when I when I did the moonlight versus the non moonlight side, they were almost always the same temperature. But the lit side, the moonlit side tended to be one or two degrees slightly warmer throughout the test. Further, I took this uh, right behind. If you can see this, you're making me laugh. Right? This, you're making me laugh. This, well, I did it myself. It's on my it's on my channel. I live streamed the entire thing. So if you can see this, uh, this mirror this magnifying glass let me see here if people uh oh it's maybe right off the edge of the view but you can see it's right there this is this magnifying glass do you see that held up by this little clip yeah i had that magnifying glass with me and so different times throughout the the testing period i used that magnifying glass to focus the moonlight on a uh, an alcohol thermometer and, and I held it there for two or three minutes to, to let the, the alcohol thermometer uh, settle in temperature. And then there was another thermometer immediately next to it that was still in the moonlight, not in the shade, because that, that magnifying glass casts a shade as well, because it, it uh, refracts the moonlight down into a point. So anything that's next to it, right? Anyway, so I kept it in, this, in the light and, and the other in, in the, the focused moonlight and the one in the focused moonlight was always about two degrees C warmer than than the other one so moonlight definitely makes things warmer okay so um do you know our, our skin our hands can you test the variation in temperature with your hands if someone was at not, home listening not very it, well no not not, not like a, well. not like the thermometer that you you the infrared thermometer that you wanted to, well, to use well, yeah that's not mentioned. our hands aren't nearly as good as that kind of thermometer Okay, so um, can you test the difference between your hand being in the shade in the summer, in, in the shade, or not in the sun? In, in the sun, it. in the sun versus not sun in the summer. Yeah, you can okay. do that. You can feel that. That's that's a significant difference in temperature. Yep. Yeah, I didn't say that it was. It, 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 it's more. Um, do you think people at home will be able to say, "Oh, um, Adams has said the moonlight's uh, the moonlight's cold and it's warmer in the shade." I have a hand and I have the moon outside and be able to go to those areas and test them themselves. Yeah, I don't think that your hand is sensitive enough to feel that. Well, they'll be able to find out if, if it was or not. Thinking, yeah. but, but why not use the thermometer that you first said that we should use? You can you do that. Know, you're kind of going away from that thermometer. That's well, the, why, that's what why, I use. It why? was an infrared thermometer. No, no, but I, I'm trying to put the tools into other people's hands. It, we're watching um, Flat Earth debates... And it's like the other people defend positions. What people don't do is tell people how to think and how to test things. And I just think that one, you have yeah. a hand. You yeah, have a that's, hand. A, that's a terrible way to do it. So definitely what people, so here's, I'll tell people how Why to do it. Terrible? Definitely no, 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 no. when you do it, have have the, the, whatever device you're testing completely open to the sky, nothing above it. So that if, if there's anything that's going to keep the heat in, 
that it's not going to do that, right? So instead, you want then your vertical shade over to the side, definitely far enough away that it's not going to affect uh, anything on the table. Now, also what I did that night is I tested... You're going to love this. You're going to love this. I had another table that was far away from where I was oh, working. complicated and a really simple thing. But go on. And I put, I put a blanket over the top of this, this. I built a little PVC pipe structure. And I put a blanket over the top of it. Mm -hmm. And the part that was under the blanket was warmer than the part that was not under the blanket. And then two weeks later, I tested it again. And when the, when there's no moon and the part under the blanket was warmer than the part not under the blanket. So when the moon wasn't there, I had the same experience. The under blanket part kept it warmer. It was uh, uh, somehow must have been trapping the heat. Mm. Cool. And I filmed it. The whole thing is on my channel. You can watch the whole, do, do, the whole thing. Do you think, as, as humans, people watching this channel, yeah, they obviously have an interest in the truth, whether or not the Earth is flat or we are just spinning <laughs> spinning around uh, yeah. that, what, thousands and thousands of miles an hour around uh, uh, the sun and we all came from a big bang from nothing, whether you want to believe that narrative, that theory, or you want to go outside and test with your thermometer, in an area that's shaded or an area that's non-shaded, you could do that yourself. Yeah. Or if you don't, you could use your hands. And if you can't test the variation in the thingy, there's no variation. So did you yeah. test, did you test your, when you did the experiment yourself that you personally did? I walked did, around outside. I've, I, I, oh, you you've just got, walk around outside. You can, you can see that. <laughs> so that's all right. So, all right. Well, so, I did, I did a pretty strongly controlled test. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe you want to try it. G give it a shot. I wouldn't waste my time if I experience something and I trust my own senses. I, I get uh, what you're saying, trust but I wouldn't your be. Own senses. Of course, I trust my own senses. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. There's, there's saying something using psychology to, to set, take away someone's thing, but if we experience it every single day and we can test it, then I, I, I wouldn't need to do anything. I would build up my theory on. I try to disprove everything. I don't defend my own position. I have no problem attacking it. I use both models and see what fits. I went to a point of multiple sources. I go, hang on, this is actually this. So then I will defend it. But I like to test things. Yeah. So well, to te testing, are these, are these lines parallel? Well, that's an optical illusion. Our brains play different yeah, but, things. But, but the, trust your senses. Are these lines parallel? I have no idea because it's an optical well, illusion. But, but trust, it. trust your senses. Well, it's a different. How many, sense. how many black dots it's do you see? It's the brain. How many black dots do you see? Trust well, your senses. It, it's fine. I can't trust my senses on this one. It's not okay. a problem. So don't trust your senses. How many? Uh, which car is bigger? Trust your senses. Which car is bigger? Well, they're, they're just pictures. The optical illusions you could have created. Yeah, but, but it, which? But which one's bigger? So are you using psychology? No, I'm using, I'm testing your senses to see if your senses are trustworthy. It depends if the senses can be manipulated. It it's is, how the brain... is, this, is this floor flat, uh, flat or curved? This is another optical illusion. Yeah, but trust your senses, you said. So I trust your senses, is this floor flat or curved? I can't, I can't trust my senses. You know that. Okay, I under, I agree. You cannot trust your senses. You should instead build things and test things using things using stuff that cannot be fooled as easily as our senses. Right. I That's said if I you agree. had a thermometer, I said if you had a thermometer to use it. If you don't, you could go outside and use your hands. Mm. Well, I would suggest everybody use a thermometer. They're they're not that hard to get. So okay. That's the one. All right. So uh, so let's let's move on here. Um. What was it? What was it that convinced you? What was it? Did you watch a series of videos on YouTube? No, I was um, into. I was came from the New Age. Um, I, I before I found my faith and had an experience, which I knew that there was a God. So I was really into the New Age. My family um, were, were not stupid. All got into star signs. We had books, this, that, the other. I found it. My brother found it, who's highly intelligent. And we looked at the stars and we're thinking, well, what are the stars? How are they? I mean, it's real. I don't follow it anymore. It's disgusting. Everything's at my house. I don't think about it, don't talk about it. But this is how I got into questioning bigger things. So people 
believe in star signs that are balls, balls of gas billion miles away. Um, they're in the same position at night time. Yeah? They, what do you mean? Uh, the stars are in the same position at night time. If you use the model of how the Earth moves, the, the constellations that we see for thousands of years and can predict with precision thousands of years, they have cycles where they know what's going to happen. Um, doesn't make sense on a, a the, the model that we have. So, so wait, wait, let me let me just. You're so saying that you're saying that the, the, the Earth. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Say, say it again. The Earth is stationary. The stars spin round in a circle. Yeah, yeah, but so, but it sounded like you said that the stars never move. Is that right? I did, but it was a slip of a tongue. The Earth doesn't move. The stars move round. They go in circles. They go round a circle round us. The Polaris, the, the northern star doesn't move. It, it's the po exactly. Polaris never moves. Polaris never moves. Are you certain? Can you, do you Absolutely. have measurements of it? I've got eyes. People have got eyes. They take cameras and do still shots. It's always in the same position. It is? Yeah, it is. Are you sure of that? A hundred percent. A hundred percent sure of that. All right. Well, I'll, I'll send this to you. Are you, uh, let's see, did I stop? You've got a lot of yeah. answers. There you go. I, I, I do. I in fact, I've done my own research. In fact, uh, so here you go. Here is here is um, nautical well, almanac, which is which is from from jolly old England from 1850. Why don't you just show the visuals of it? We have cameras. Well, in 1850, so, they, 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 in 1850, they had measurements of it. Of course, they did. Yeah. But why, so, why, so in 1850, for reference, no, 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 you're, you're, you're wasting your time. Why wouldn't? Why can't we just put a camera and look at it? And hold it in one place and see what it does. We do it. Yeah. What's the what's the angular resolution of that camera? How much does it need to move in order for that camera to see the movement? So let let me just show you here. In eighteen fifty, in eighteen fifty, Polaris was one and a half degrees off of the center of rotation. You're using you're using controlling the conversation instead of using a thing that we can. Test I'm using now. measurements. That's fine. measurements that people did. Yeah, measurements. People, I know. I know you are. don't like measurements, but that's dishonest of you to reject <laughs> measurements. What? It's dishonest of you. No, it's no, no. It's very you dishonest for you, you to reject measurements. You've got to admit to trying to control a conversation because I, I do lots of debates and I'm fully aware of it. I knock on doors for a living. I control conversations when I'm on the doors. Right. As well, to doing well, something that it, the fact is that Polaris was a, a one and a half it's degrees from the center. It's, it's, in it's, marks on a, it's marks on a paper from a person no. that we don't know in 1850. Oh, so just just hand wave reject things that you don't like. Is that your? Is that how you do things, Mr. No, Christian you person? You're going to pretend yes. to be religious and then hand wave re reject things that are just because you don't like it? That's kind of disgusting. A, no, it's That's not. Really disgusting. Are you now? You're uh, now you're trying to control this person and then slew the character. You, absolutely, I am pointing out that you're being dishonest here. In 1572, Tycho Brahe measured it. It was uh, 86 degrees. It was it was almost if four degrees off the of day, the, the center. Ben from down the road got a camera and pointed it at the thing or observed uh -huh. it in the sky. Yeah, and it moves every single day. It moves. It's in a different position every single day. Oh my God! 1659. It's a number on a piece of paper. 87 degrees. You're just hand wave dismissing it because you don't like it, Adam. That's dishonesty. Yeah, we can, we can you're, hang on. Don't call me dishonest. I just have did. I don't know, have, you're hand wave dismissing something just because you don't like it. That's dishonest. No, no, I'm not going to raise the debate. People have critical thinking. You're trying to guard it onto the thing. Why don't they just look outside and, and say... Yeah, but you already said that you don't trust no, no, your... No, no, no. You're dismissing other people's ability you, to check this. You report. don't trust You're your right. own senses. You, you said that yourself. Sir, sir, old man, just, just listen. Have some respect. Uh -huh. Yeah? You're, you're you're just quoting people from a page. They could have done these tests. Why can't the people at home then go look outside? Are and, they and not, what? Are they not touching the camera? And certainly, they, they could know, measure the, it themselves, the slow, and people the still measure it. People still you know measure. The, do you know the slow exposure? So yeah. people film things and it, yeah, it record yeah. it. Did you have you seen the pictures of the North Star where it's still and everything goes on in a perfect circle around it? Some of those beautiful photography have, you can You've create. never seen that Polaris actually is half a degree off the center right now? It's not in the center right now, today. Have you have you got you the, don't know uh, that? Build. No, I didn't. Are you just saying this or can people no. test it? <laughs> and Mike, Eric Dubay said that. In a video oh. and on the screen, when he said it, you can see Polaris doing half a circle.
It's not in the center. Oh, it's not in the center. In the center. It's not in the center. It's one half of a degree off of the center of Could rotation people, right now. So when people went to test it and took a, long, a, a slow exposure video of the North Star, they could see that for themselves. Yes. Brilliant. So they could. So so we could test it if that it's off. Would yes. that be a good way? So I wouldn't use my my thing. I say it's in this. It's in, I could be wrong. I'm I'm okay with being wrong. Yeah. yeah. But these guys could be wrong. Because it could be moving all over the place. All the other stars could be moving all over the place. We wouldn't see all the other stars in perfect 360 degree circles. We wouldn't have an entire culture built around star signs dictating their personalities. It just wouldn't exist. All right. Here is, here is Dubay's own video. You see that? <coughs> and here is, here is the that. quote from Eric Dubay I, on I, screen. Hold on, I'll read it. I'll read it for everybody at home. He uh, said, can... Polaris remains fixed while all the other stars rotate 24-hour circles around it. The stars near Polaris rotate very slowly while those further away ro <coughs> rotate progressively faster. This is Eric Dubay's own video, and in the center, you can see Polaris. Do you see Polaris there in the center? I have, I've seen that photo. I've never seen it like that on the last thing. So this why is the stars... Directly... Why, why is everything directly off of Eric Dubay's video. Look at that. Hey, Eric Dubay's fantastic. Beautiful. Do you I've see? never seen it. This is his video. <laughs> okay, he mine. claimed, just like you did, that, that Polaris is dead center in the middle, but it's not in his own video. Mike, why are all the other ones going in 360 degree circles then? Because, why is the, Earth, because the Earth is rotating. And they just stay still? They don't stay still, they rotate. When but the Earth rotates, we're, in, we're an expanding universe spinning round the sun. Yeah, spinning clockwise, spinning round the galaxy. You're kind of changing the topic away from. No, why I'm, don't I'm you just? I, could, no, could you just? But, could you just concede that before going to this new topic? Could you just concede that you were wrong? Why would I concede that I'm wrong? Because it's right on screen there in front of you. Okay, so why don't can't people go look for themselves? They I've can, never but seen but, but you didn't you didn't look into it yourself. Oh, you should, no, 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 Mike, 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 listen. I listen, did listen. my own research. You did not, Adam. Uh, uh, Mike, I spent four years on this subject. But you didn't. But that you were wrong on this. This is this is easy to see. You didn't do I, your I own research on it. On it. I, I, I'm a stupid, Mike. I don't know. Why did you not know this, Mike? It's Why did you not know this, Adam? You you were telling me, Mike. Mike, you were telling me that Polaris doesn't move and it's dead center. But it's not. Right. You so did not do think, your own research, Adam. So, so you have to... No, listen. Shut your mouth for a second. Stop interrupting me. It's called manners, okay? It's fine. I know what you're saying. you got a guy riled. Amazing. Why can we not expand the thing? Why is every other star going from 360 degrees? Do you want to tell people the model of how, how it works, the solar system? You go right ahead. You Make sure you use VSOP87, because that's a pretty good one. I have no idea what you're saying on a VSOP87. All right. Do so you want to tell them in layman's terms so people can actually understand what you're saying? Well, you were so going to talk about the model of the solar system, and that's one of them. Well, explain it for me in movements, in simple layman's terms, how people can test it. Why are they, all the other ones going in perfect circles? Off you go. Oh, well, why are they going in perfect circles? Yeah. They're well, not, they're, they also move. The other stars also move. You did not so know that, did you? Here, let me show you. I'll, I'll show you. No, you, no, you, no, asked no, me, no, you asked me to explain. Really. You asked explain me to explain. Me. You asked me to explain. I will explain however I want to explain. Okay? Here is so the nautical... Sad, <laughs> I didn't get half a sentence in. Uh, I, welcome to my world, mate. Welcome to my world. All right. I will not be explaining it to you since you interrupted me immediately. Your turn to explain to me by applying the actual solar system model where the stars should be each night. Go ahead. Oh, God. I couldn't do that. Are you mad? That's how much movement there is and how stupid my brain is in comparison to explaining the model and why we, have, why we look up every night and I know that the Big Dip will be over there. It's just completely illogical. The movement of stars spinning around in galaxies... Uh, Certain planets spinning other ways. It, it's 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 just so bonkers to what I what I perceive as organization. And I see the North Star being in one central point, yeah, or even just spinning around that little loop that will give you that. If you want it, you can have it, mate. That's fine. I'll give you a little biscuit. Okay. And I still see the stars in the set in the same area going round above me. 
I don't see random chaos. We don't predict random chaos. So you didn't you didn't match the globe solar system model because we don't predict random chaos. Okay, so how should it look if we're moving around? How should it look? I was going to explain to you, but you interrupted me before I finished one sentence. So how about you get to the next topic since you do not want to be educated on this topic? I would love to be educated, mate. Go ahead. Why? What was the next thing that made you think that the Earth was it's flat? fine. I'd love you to describe the, the movement of the, the, the solar system and how, how we'd see stars. You take all the time you want, use whatever language you want, any pictures, anything, or you, put it into people's heads, how, the, how it moves. Are, are you going to interrupt me as soon as I start talking? Absolutely not. You talk. Off you go. All right. Well, I will send to you again the screen that you didn't want to see. All right, so this is this is the Nautical Almanac, starting in uh, 1850, right? And each pay each year, there's a new Nautical Almanac that lists the locations of the stars, and they move every year. And we can see here. I'll pull up these three here, that that list Polaris along with several others. It's called the, the Nautical Almanac and the Astronomical Ephemeris of 1850. You can Good, see... Just, sorry, right. Does that explain the... Are you, are you going to use this to explain the movement of the universe? Does this does this allow them to understand, me to understand the concept of yeah, how could, it moves? Could you focus just a little bit longer? I'm just making sure that I get an answer to the question, not right. something different, slightly different. So here I'm we see we see mind. Polaris there on, on the sixth line. <clears throat> Six line down. 18, 18, the declination, 88 degrees 30 minutes but you can oh, see other ones in here you can see the top one there andromeda andromeda is at yeah. 28 degrees 15 minutes now that's 1850 if we move forward to 1900 we can see again here and polaris let's see ursa they they're not in the same order here but uh, we've got okay ursa major Mm -mm. To find the same stars as reference, cross reference, take your time. It's yeah, fine. they're not the same. They're not in the same order, so there it takes a second it's to all find. Right, mate. It's all right, mate. I don't think they're on the, the same page as different stars, there, mate. What's that? Andromeda and Polaris are not there. Andromeda and Polaris are not here, and not as far as I can see. Uh, here's. <clears throat> They're not. They're not in the same. Uh, see, in, in this one, right. in this one, they're grouped. Use another one. Use, use another one. So, yeah. just, just double reference it. Up you got them with one day. This yeah. one. And then we can put side by side and see where they've moved to. Here you go. We were looking at Andromeda. Top one, Andromeda. Just do the top one and then we can find it. It's an A. Just a second. I'm looking for Capella in here. They're not there you in go. alphabetical order. There is. Capella's there. Is. there. There's Capella. You see that? 46 degrees there. 46 degrees, point A, Capella. And in this one here, 45.50. So it's 10 minutes off over the course of um, 150 years, about. And what but, does 10 minutes off represent? Could you explain that? Because it's I, I 10, don't understand it. 10 sixths of a degree. 10 sixtieths of a degree. 10 sixtieths. 10. Yeah, so one sixth of a degree. So it moved. Yeah, hang on, just let me process that in my head. 10 sixtieths of a degree. So one yes. sixth of a degree. Yeah. Is yeah. That... So it, it moved. So all it, of these stars and, and so you could, could, could that, could that, be, sorry, sorry could, I'm just, I'm just questioning because I'm trying to get my head around it. Could that have been just to do with testing? You know how we have variation and we give a little bit. Could that just have been to do with variation of testing a tool in 1850? It's testing it now. That, so yeah, you're talking it, about. It, um, it's very unlikely, but you, you go ahead and you, you test that hypothesis. I, I couldn't test that all, out of the tools. All, all, all of all of all of the stars, though, 
you can see they move and and you can you can this one's from 2017 and you can go 2017 to 2022 and you can get those and you can compare those and you'll find that they also move cool could you show should we do one more then if you want another one yeah, uh, it's up to you, mate. I don't know the name. Bellatrix. I like the name of that one. Um, all right. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find Bellatrix on here. It's easier to find something pick, here. Pick, pick one here. that's famous. Here, Procyon. Procyon's a good one. We can maybe find that. Five, five minutes. Cool. And there's Procyon. Five minutes. Okay. Five, ten five there. Five minutes, ten, eight. And Procyon. here is... 536. 10, 8. Okay, so go, go back onto the other one. 536. Yep, and 510 five. here. Okay, so, so what's that? 20, 26 arc minutes. So that's 6.2, is it? Or 20, 20, 26 arc minutes. Okay. It's just under half of a degree. It's just under half of a degree. So there's yeah. variation in both of those. That's interesting. That um, so, could you explain how 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 we would experience these moving visually? Well, you'd need a telescope that was able to measure these angles, and people have these in their backyards today. They do. And so, when people look yeah. at the stars, what do the stars look like? We're talking about measuring their positions. Okay. okay. So, and you asked me, and and I, I haven't yet. And then you said, "Take take all the time I wanted, and you would not interrupt." I'm just okay. I'm so, them, so I'm glad to continue my explanation to you where you don't interrupt. Okay. So, all of the stars like these that are nearby, they change in position, and they do that <laughs> over the years. They don't move it. They don't move quickly but they do move. Now the model actually predicts that they move and that they move slowly. And that's because we aren't going in random chaotic directions and changing the directions that we're going all the time. We're going in a rather consistent direction at a rather consistent uh, uh, speed that doesn't vary much. And we're doing it similarly to other vehicles. So if you're on the freeway and there's a vehicle next to you and you're both going 100 kilometers an hour and they're going 101 kilometers an hour right they're just pulling ahead of you a little bit right even though you're going 100 kilometers an hour faster than you could walk faster than you could possibly do with your own self right that that they're somehow only slightly pulling ahead of you that's because you're moving at about the same rate next to each other. That's why the stars don't appear to move much. It's because we're moving and they're moving and we're all generally moving in relation to each other in the same general direction. Okay. Okay, there you go. So so we're moving at 6,600, we're moving thousands of miles an hour, yeah? Yeah. And space is in the vacuum. Now there's, there's you just go up and up and up and suddenly... You 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 you, you go into space. This kind of uh, it, it's just it's a slow graduation until it's defined as space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you, so how, like, how is this topic moving along to a different topic now? Well, how? No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, it is actually. So let's keep on. I do a lot of tangents. So it's just how my brain works. Yeah. Um. So you, would you like to tell people how pe the, the, it moves? The system moves. The Earth I just, I just, I just, I just talked about how stars appear to it. move only slightly every every year. Yeah. Okay. So, so what did God say the stars were for? What's the purpose of the stars? Doesn't Science doesn't really matter. Yeah. It, it does. It does. This is a science conversation. So. God, science describes creation. Sure, science sure. is a tool That's to describe what, what we see. All right, so go ahead. Um, so so, so stars made for science. Go ahead and show show what what why what other thing you thought because because you you thought that Polaris didn't move and that's why you thought the Earth was flat. What was the second thing that made you think the Earth was flat? I'll I'll mess this up um, while, while you do that. But by the way, this this is from two a HD cat, um, and I haven't messed it up because I'm colorblind and I can't see like these two colors are the same to me, and um. So anyway, I'm going to mess it up and then I won't be able to fix it. All right, go ahead. 
How long does it take you to do that? Um, I've never solved one of these because I'm colorblind. Okay. Um, so perspective, when we raise on a flat surface, the horizon always stays with eye level. It's something that we experience all the time. So when people in planes and they say they see the curvature, it makes me laugh. Yeah, they should that you can't see the curvature from from a plane. Unless you you're unless you're about forty five thousand feet, then you could. So why do boats disappear over the horizon? Uh, because left to right curve is different than front to back curve. Oh, I've never heard that one. You could go. you explain it to me? All right, there you go. That's the one direction I got. No, this is your chance to to show evidence why you thought the Earth was flat. I don't want to. I don't want to sidetrack from your. I've been trying your... to. Dis I've been trying to disprove. Um, the flat earth for years. I will. I've stopped for years. I'm not up to date. Uh, I've stopped for many years, but I spent about four years on it. It was my religion at one point because I didn't know there was a creator. Um, <clears throat> many, uh, there's somebody in the chat. Many Karen says, hey, tell Adam, I love my men hyper masculine too. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Karen, I like, I like women. But um, I do respect alpha males. Do, do you like lot. many? Do you like many, Karen? Um, many Karen's not a woman, by the way. <laughs> many Karen's a guy. Asking? Many Karen's a guy. Uh, that's that. There you go. Um, no. no. All right. Well, all right. So I, I mean, you 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 said. So what did what do you say about in an airplane and, and the horizon? Perspective. When we raise up, if we're on a flat surface and the higher up we go, the horizon will stay at 50% with us. Yeah? Right, so it's me, always at 50%. Yeah, let me draw that out. So we have... Um... I've got a whiteboard here, mate. <laughs> yep. I got... Um... I've got a big whiteboard here. And I've got a pen here. <clears throat> I got lots of I got lots of paper that I've used here. All right, hold on. So I'll I'll, I'll trust my own hand here, mate. Okay, so what's that? That I was that that's a that's an electrical engineer joke. Divided. Okay, my brain doesn't work that way. So, yeah, I know. It works visually, and I'm sure other people people do. Yep. All right. I'm gonna have to get a new notebook here. Oh, look at that! Good That's times. Do you remember the compression zone? So, One point two two times the square of the height in feet is the Rayleigh criterion according to Flatoid. That guy, so silly. All right, I found my paper here, my blank sheet. What? All right. <clears throat> I've Do you got... think people are ever paid to um, hide agendas or? push forward ideas all right well let's stay on topic here all right <clears throat> so here i i have the i have the flat plane right there for you right, okay yeah all right and if you go up and down yeah so if yeah. you go up um if you go up what in an airplane you're at uh thirty five thousand yeah, feet up in a, you go up in a balloon if you go up in an airplane if you go up in anything in height if it's flat, the horizon will stay with you. It's perspective. It's yeah, really it should. Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. Okay, so we'll be able to observe that. We'll be, yeah, we'll be able to observe that. You'd be able to measure you? that, yeah. Yeah, of course you would. Yeah. The vision, visuality will stay at the same level. It's flat. Yeah. It's flat. Okay, so people could test that, couldn't they? Yeah, people could measure that. Yeah. Cool. Especially over water, where yes. it's flat water level. So that would be have really... you have you measured? Do you have any measurements of of the horizon? I'm I'm, I'm not a scientist. I've never yeah, but you don't it. have to be a scientist to just go measure. Of something. course you don't. Absolutely. Yeah. Of course you don't. Uh, of course I you don't. There, there's an app you can install on your phone called the Theodolite app, um, and and you can then uh, measure angles yourself. Have you ever done that? No, I'm interested in other subjects. You're a scientist. You you test these things way. Right? Yeah. And, yeah. And, yeah. You can test these things too. There's no, there's no re excuse to not testing it yourself, right? Okay. Cool. Yeah. I, I, I don't need to test these things if I experience it every day. Well, I mean, if you're going to make I a mean, claim about I mean, something, you'd want to be sure that that claim. Is I, I believe the Earth is flat, and I believe I can 
prove it by just encouraging people to test it themselves. Pro it, yeah. It's not, I mean, you don't prove by encouraging things, right? You'd have to actually have evidence, wouldn't you? Of course you would. Yeah, evidence is, is how we establish things, not just by saying things. Right? Yeah, but evidence is all around us. We live. Yeah, yeah. So, so a measurement. So, so, so for example, example, yeah. Go, go ahead. Draw, draw the picture there, and then, and then we can do the trig. So when we go up and down, the horizon will stay with us. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. So, so like at thirty-five thousand feet, right? But oh, you prefer? I prefer metric myself too. Right. So at thirty-five thousand feet, what would you say? Would the horizon be dipping away? Yeah, so how far is, uh, if you're at 45 degrees north latitude, how far are you from the the ice wall? Do you think there's an ice wall? Of course I do. Okay, so how far how far are you from the ice wall when you're at 35,000 feet? Uh, at, sorry, at 45 what? degrees north latitude. Found, we're talking about the firmament here. No, no, the ice wall. The so ice this, walls is, this, this, is, this is what you think, right? Is this Is this your map? It's uh, pretty close, yeah. Pretty close. It's in close. It's got a firmament over it, yeah. All right. So, so if you're here, and you're at, yeah. uh, you're at, well, you're in, you're in England, right? Yeah. So, so, and you said northern England. So maybe you're about sixty degrees north latitude, right? I don't think in. So you have to. If you're saying that, then it's true. I'm not sixty degrees north latitude. I'm just asking. I don't know where you live. So I don't okay. know where. They live in England, and wherever it, wherever it is in its degrees, that's fine. Okay. Yeah? So how far is it to the ice wall? How far is it to the ice wall? You go yeah. to the edge. Yeah, so but how many to... how many kilometers to the ice wall? Oh, what, what do they say the Earth is? How far? How wide is the Earth again? The, I don't the, know. The... Your your map is different than than uh, than others. I think right. I can. I know how far it is on the globe. Uh, I I'm I'm not familiar with how how, how big it is. Is it twenty five thousand miles or something like that? Roughly? Yeah, the gl the globe is forty thousand kilometers in circumference. Kilometers? How many is that in miles? Forty thousand, maybe less, twenty two or something. Be being from Northern England, do you prefer sheep units for some things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scot yeah. Scottish we, sheep yeah. units. I know it's not English sheep units. It's Scottish we don't, sheep we don't units. think in kilometers. We think in miles. It's, it, okay, we well, think twenty five thousand right. miles would be the the rate the circumference Roughly. of the however, globe. However, so, of the, however, but it's of the globe. I don't know this. You're the expert in this. Well, it's still roughly the same thing. Still roughly the same size. We experience. Okay, so, it. so so the it, north it, so the it, north it, south it, is the it, same. It, okay. No. So, all right. So I know that. Okay. It, so if you have a ball. Let me explain the ball, the ball, the thing. You have the ball for the globe, yeah? You no, I, I'm not, I'm, I don't need you to explain to me how the globe works. You need to explain to me how this works. I'm asking you for this. Okay. So it, don't it, tell it, me it. about, I know about the globe. I can totally talk about the globe. So so if you say it's the same, then then it, it makes sense because navigators have been using 60 nautical miles per degree latitude for hundreds of years. So 60 nautical miles is 69 uh, imperial miles or 111 kilometers. Okay. And if you're at 60 degrees north latitude, you've got 60 degrees to get to the equator and then another 90 degrees to get to the ice wall, right? According to this. Okay, I agree. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So so let's uh, I'll put that on here, right? So we've got um 60 60 and 90 gives us 150 mm -mm. 150 degrees latitude, right? <laughs> Messing up my papers here. And uh, that's 69 miles per degree, right? So the question is, how far do I believe it is to the ice wall? Yeah, that's 10,350 miles. So that's from sixty well, degrees north. You're ten thousand miles to the to the ice wall. All right. So so if you're here, right, in okay. an airplane, and your airplane is um, thirty five thousand feet up, but let's get that in in miles. 
So w- I don't understand what this has got to do with an ice wall perspective. Oh, no, we're, when- I, we're, we're testing. We're applying perspective. So let's see, feet to miles. So you're at 6.7 miles. All right, so that's your height, 6.7 miles in an airplane, for example. Yeah, and right. every mile you see, is it 8, eight degrees d- decline or something? No, we're talking about flat Earth. Okay, but we'll we'll test it on the the, the yeah. um. All right, so there's there's the there's the per application of perspective on flat Earth. Mm-hmm. Right. So, and I'll draw that that, that line. There. I, I fail. I'm really failing to understand how how the perspective of the ice wall being ten thousand miles away will be able to will like would come into this kind of thing. Oh, because you were talking about the dip of the horizon. So I'll get there in a second. There's no dip of the horizon. That's what. That's the idea, right? We want to test that, right? Okay. So we have perspective. Our eyes are shaped in a certain way, and our lens. No, but ca- cameras do the same thing, and pinhole cameras do the same do. thing. So it does. It's, it's not do. unique to our eyes. All right. So here's here is here's this. Well, here, that's right? what perspective. Oh, right, so we've got ten thousand kilometers or ten thousand miles and six point seven miles. So, um, do you want to do the trig on that, or should I? <laughs> Listen, hey, you do the trig on that. That's not my field. I believe you. All right. I, I just, you know, I got to say, I can do the trig, but uh, I typically just do it. I typically just use the online triangle calculator because because it's easier. But I mean, I mean, you you could do the Soka Toa yourself if you wanted, right? I've got better things to do in my life. All right. There we go. 6.7, 90, 10,000. 350 get that there that gives us a an a, a angular drop predicted angular drop for flat earth this is for flat earth of a point zero three one seven why would it drop on the flat earth the flat earth is flat uh, well, if, if there's an edge to it there's an edge to it as you as you said there's an ice wall what's that what's that got to do with what's that got to do with anything so, so this there's is very we're, we're testing your plan we Just have mountains of have all sorts of stuff. Yeah, but on a plane's there. higher than every mountain, right? What what mountain is higher than than a a plane at, at thirty five thousand feet? Is there any? What mountain is, say that again? Is there so, a mountain uh, as high okay. as a plane at thirty five thousand feet? I have thirty five thousand feet. No. A good good correct answer. Um so there's nothing between here. And here, right? So I'm just testing. So on flat Earth, you would predict an angular dip of 0.0317 degrees if you're at 60 you know, degrees it, looking you know, due south, it, right? If you're looking other directions, you, you'd expect you know, it to be even even less dip. No, if, it, if the flat Earth was taken as water level, it yeah. would be completely flat. Actually, we don't actually believe the Earth is 100% flat. There's nobbles and bubbles. When I go out my house, yeah, no, I nobody down. Nobody thinks that flat Earthers actually think that there's no such thing as topography. Nobody okay. thinks that, right? No, nobody. That that's a that's a ridiculous. There's a couple flat earthers that imagine that people think that, but n- nobody does, right? So I'm just testing so, this. I'm supporting you. This isn't a trick question or anything. This is what you'd expect for flat Earth, looking due south, which is very close to zero. And so you would expect you could say, no dip of the horizon. That'd be reasonable to say no. No, dip no, of the no, horizon, no, 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 no. Right? Listen, listen, listen. Putting words into my mouth, I believe the, the the Earth is flat. You can use trigonometry. You can say all these things. That's your field. We all come with arguments that we pre-planned, and and, and you, yeah, that's amazing. But I okay. believe the Earth is flat. Yeah, okay? I'm. That's what I did here. I'm. Yeah, I'm I drew agree. flat Earth for you. Yes. That this is flat Earth, and this no, is an airplane. Why are you putting into a mount a mountain into it? What? Uh, there's what's no. That to there's do? no mountain here. I did not draw a mountain. So how can you get a negative thing from a flat Earth? I don't. There's like no you... negative. There's no negative. So so what's that got to do with? I don't understand how you can get that. You 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 can. I don't understand how you've got that. How, how I got this angle here? Well, yeah. I I took your your flat Earth map, and the distance from where this observer is in an airplane, at sixty degrees north latitude. All the way to the ice wall, over flat Earth. And this is this is the predicted dip of the horizon, right? Because because this angle here oh, well, would he, and this angle up here are the same. The, how would he be able to see the ice wall? 
Well, he How wouldn't. Would it would be. It would be. Uh, would um, in reality, well, there's no we have, we have no horizon. Form, okay. Yeah, there'd be no we horizon. Done... It'd just be a blur. But but yeah, exactly. but but Robotham, Robotham, who was from well, England, made this claim as well. And so, so this is so this is we a common. Have a vanishing point. We have a vanishing point, don't we? Because of our eyes. No, not at all. We have a curved lens. That's no. what gives it. Like I said, a a a, a pin pinhole camera gives the same view, even though there's no actual lens. A, yeah, pin a pinhole camera hasn't got a lens though. Has That's it? right. Yeah. So it's not about the lens. So, but I'm telling you that the human eye has a lens. Yeah, and, and I'm telling you that a pinhole camera doesn't have a lens and sees the same things that so our it's eyes flat. do. No, it's square. It's square. Isn't it's it amazing? Flat. You don't. You can't actually say that because how our eyes are curved that it actually uh, does no, anything. Because it, a pinhole camera sees the same thing with you're, no you're lens. Using this, a, you're using this stuff a pinhole with, camera with no lens. All right. So, so anyway, we're testing the, the, the dip of the horizon. You didn't tell the viewers that, did you? No, no, no. You didn't tell the viewers what, what, what you were doing, did you? What? You, you were, weren't taking into account the lens of the human eye. You you don't need to take it into account because that's not how the, that's not how optics actually works. No, I know it's not. Yeah, because because a pinhole camera doesn't have a lens okay. and still sees. See hold on, you I you won't let me sit, finish this sentence for some reason. Let me say it again, nice and slow. Just don't interrupt. Just one sentence. A pinhole camera has no lens and still sees the same thing as our eyes. Okay. Okay. So it's not how our eyes work. Because of a lens. So a pinhole camera doesn't have a vanishing point, does it? It uh, Our pinhole camera sees the same thing as our eyes do. Okay. But our lens gives us... So we don't interpret it the same way. It sees we the same thing. We do see the same thing. In the outside world, it doesn't change the reality of the image made up because of the lens, does it? The lens does not actually distort like that. No, it doesn't. It doesn't magically make things disappear or create a vanishing <laughs> point or well, anything like that. Inside our head... It makes things smaller into a vanishing point or larger in the foreground. But but a pinhole camera doesn't have a head for it to see smaller in. A pinhole camera still sees things get the same as, uh, uh, as our, if our if eyes. If you want to use yeah. those, those little things and, and score points rather than find the truth. I mean, I'm, that, that, I'm trying to find the truth. You made claims about eyes because of curved lenses. And I'm pointing out the truth that pinhole cameras without lenses see the same as our eyes. Of course they do. Yeah. Okay, so we don't let, change let's, the outside reality. Right, let, let's get back to this one. This is this is just this just this is what we predict on flat Earth, and I'm agreeing with you. Pretty much zero dip of the horizon is the prediction. No, zero dip. Yeah, it's zero. Dip. Right. So you. No, I don't. Uh, agree, but I, I don't I, agree with you. I don't have to agree with, with with what you said. You do or you don't. I don't have to. Okay, so so could you maybe draw out on your whiteboard, um, why why we would the see horizon, zero dip of the horizon on flat Earth? The horizon. The horizon will rise with you. Yeah, you've said that. Please, could you just draw it out so that Go people up. at home can see what you're thinking of? If you're on a if you're on a flat object, if you're on a round object, no, yeah, no, flat. This is up, flat Earth. Every, yeah, yeah no, you don't no, need no, to no, talk. No, don't no. talk about the globe when you're talking about the flat Earth. You get confused. Just talk about flat Earth. Go ahead. Okay. If you are on a flat Earth. The higher up you go, yeah, the more you'll be able to see. When you go up higher, you can see further. Yeah, but you're talking about the dip of the horizon. No, I'm not talking. There's no dip in the horizon. Which is yeah, yeah, but could draw out, draw out the dip of the horizon and and why you think we should not see a dip. Um, okay, as you go up higher, you can see further. You can see further. Yeah. You will notice if it's just plain water, we're not counting for valleys and hills because they could be massive, huge typography. You will notice as you go higher up, the horizon level stays level and comes up to meet you. It, it's just it's just perspective. It doesn't change no matter how high up you go. But on the on the on the, uh, the round earth, no, don't talk about. I, you still haven't explained to me why on flat earth that, that there should be no dip. I can't use your mathematics. No, just just show me, just show me. Um, the higher up I go, the further my vision goes. If yeah, I come but, up here, if I'm here, I can see here. If yeah, I'm but, up here, yeah, draw I the angles. If I'm here, if I'm here, I can see over here. Yes, the horizon. When my, my for my visual visuals, I will always see the ground and the sky. Fifty-fifty. 
But but no why? Where I, I go, that oh, ratio, yeah. that ratio will not change. No, because it, it's it, it's how I'm explaining. Him. Yeah, we'll have different subjects, different skills. Yeah, you uh, ma mathematics. Yeah, yeah, I I kind of like math. Okay, cool. Well, I, I like perspective. I like simple yeah. things. Per perspective is an application of math. It, bro, God made us all different. We're going to see it differently. Yeah, okay? but perspective is just an application of math. Okay, shows the truth. So, so, all right. So, you didn't really explain. You just kind of drew a line. I, I, was, I tried so, to explain. Yeah. This, this I, is I, actually I, flat earth's claim. You know, when I claim. interrupt, you know, this when is I not a straw you. man. I'm not trying to misrepresent. This is not. what Robotham said. Listen, listen. When you interrupt me, yeah, I very rarely tell you to be quiet. When I interrupt you, you tell me to be quiet. Okay. All right. So, could, is that is that all you have you for up. your explanation? When you go up, yeah, it is because it's simple. Okay. I don't need to complicate something. It's all right. I don't to get people lost in numbers and figures. What's that? There's a, there's a psychological thing where you you keep on saying lots of words and try to confuse people on the path. I don't know. I nothing nothing of what I've said is confusing, but that's fine. I, I, I've just been selling on the doors, mate. I, I know these techniques. Yeah. All right. You can't follow it. You trust it because it says big words. So, I'm n nice and simple. Yeah. When you go up, yeah, you are able to see more further into the horizon. Your ratio of ground to earth will not change no matter how high, how high up you go or low down you go. Okay, so, all right, so you're saying, really you're saying when, when we well, measure the dip of the horizon, you say there's, no there's the never a dip. The ratio won't change. But yeah, when say, we're on, now, now, when we're on the, glo the global Earth model, it, how every mile dropped, what is this, eight, eight inches or something like that? You that's wanna, the wrong formula for this, uh, for any application you, generally. But it's, you just tell, yeah. tell me the formula, please. Let's go for that formula. What's that formula? One mile, eight inches, one kilometer? Mm, no, not at all. Not at all. What, what, what is it? I've not done the flat earth for it's, six years, mate. It's trigonometry. Oh. You don't like trig. I, I'm not stupid, mate. You can refresh my memory. I, I don't have this particular formula uh, off the top of my head, but I'm glad to bring it up. All right, let me yeah, let me grab. Is it I, I wrote I wrote some software on it. Inch, I don't care about it is square. not eight inches per mile squared. It is not. Okay. That is the well, wrong one. Let, let me just find it out. Uh, uh, so you want the dip of the horizon? That's what you want. Dip uh, of the horizon formula. You, you're gonna, you're not gonna get the right one if you're thinking eight is in it because there's no eight in it. It just, it, 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 there is a zero point zero zero nine degree distance drop. Hang on. What is this one? We find that the one kilometer has an angle of three of from 360 degrees, whatever it is, 0 0.009 angle. It might have been nine. Which one do you want to pick? I want you to get the correct formula for the dip of the horizon. Because but there is, there's, there, is a, there is a formula for it, isn't there? There is, yes. Meters results in a curvature of 0 0.07 kilometers per mile. I think it's eight, to be honest, mate. I think I was right. If memory, if memory serves me well. Dip of the horizon is what you're looking for. Dip of the horizon. I got point, um, 0 0.7 and I got 0 0.9. And let me see if I can get 0 0.8. And what are you going to do with those numbers? Uh, it doesn't make a difference. I'm just going to show people what they should see when they're up in planes and they don't. Yeah, you just make sure that you don't straw man the globe by getting the wrong formula. That's fine. I'll try not to. Yeah. I remember it as point, uh, point 0.8. I'm really sure it's point 0.8, to be honest. I've not done flat earth in so many years, mate. All right. I have I have the, the application that I wrote. Yeah, I, I, I want to, I don't want to trust just just you because you have an agenda and an argument. I'm going to trust. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're going to get the formula. All right. I'm looking. All right. Do you want to have a look as well? I, I already have it, but you don't want mine. You've already said you will reject mine. So just uh, look at the formula. Okay. <coughs> 
what happened then? Okay, let's see. You don't have it yet? The no, dip of the don't. horizon. Go on, what have you got? You you've pre rejected mine, so you're gonna have to you get your go, own. Right? It's not it's you're not gonna have to get, <laughs> get your own. Hey. You're so, spicy fellow, aren't you? I'm already sharing so people can see my formula, but but uh just wanna get yours. But I'm gonna say it's point eight. I'm gonna use stick with my brain and say it's point eight because that's what my brain's telling me. All right, so write the formula on your whiteboard, and uh, I'll be sure to show it nice so, and big for everybody. One kilometer. Um, every one kilometer dips point eight. That's times every kilometer we go. So that point eight will go to 16 inches for two miles. That will go to 32, 64 inches. Um 64 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 is 1, 2, 8, 1, 2 is 2, 5, 6, so that's 10, 2, 5, 6, 5, 12 is 20, um, 20 miles, 512, is it inches? 512 inches. How much is that in? Um, so, 112 inches is how high in feet? 112 inches is how high in feet? No, 512 inches. 512 inches. 512 inches in, in, in feet is 42 feet. Okay. Have okay. you seen that? Is it the one in Chicago when you can see Chicago? So, so we're talking about a, an airplane at 35,000 feet. We're talking. What's, what's the dip of the horizon at 35,000 feet? If we are on a. Um, if we are on a, the ground level at the seaside, yeah? So it's, it's no, flat water. We're at 35,000 feet, 6.7 miles. No, I, I, I'm, I I'm already, talking. Well, I mean, that's the topic. I already got it. This is, I already did the formula, but, <clears throat> and I have it ready. It's on screen, ready for, for, for testing as soon as, as soon as you come up with the formula. So at, at 35,000 feet. So no, 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 hang on, hang on. I'm talking, I'm talking about perspective on there. So it's not on a plane anymore. Okay. No, we, but we didn't finish this topic yet. I've told you about the distance and, and ratios and what they'd say. But, but, but Adam, I, we like, didn't the, finish the this topic yet. I, I already pulled up the stuff. It's all ready to go on this topic. So you're using trigonometry from this height. I want to use it from the bottom. Yeah, from, from 65,000 feet. In the world. Yeah, from 65,000 okay. feet. What should the dip of the horizon be? Mike, 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 I want them to make it applicable to the reality that they see around them. So if something they can see with their eyes, yes, from, I, from, yeah, from I've, I've already, level, I'm ready. Got, Adam, you're changing got, the topic. No, 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 no. Are you scared I'm of this topic? Fine. Congratulations. No, I'm not. Okay, then I'm don't run from this topic. I've already I, done I'm this. I've already, this. we've, we're talking about from an airplane at 35,000 feet. It's amazing. Listen, uh, uh, I'm, you, you, I'm running from it. I'm running from this topic. I'm going to move it to something that everyone Correct. else can put. Yeah, you are. Yeah, because I'm a bitch. Yeah. Okay, you went. Uh, apparently, yeah. So, so all right. Well, let me let me just so, so, just so, so show I, you. No, 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 no. Because I wanted to do it on this from the ground, so people can actually use app, use the application. So we've got we've got kilometers. So something is twenty kilometers away. Yeah, you should be able to see uh, uh, forty two feet. Yeah, taking forty two feet off. Something's no, forty no. kilometers away. Hang on, just just let me do it. It's all right. You should be scared. Change, I've changed the, the height we're looking at. Yeah, people can do this perspective. So there's 40 kilometers away. Yeah, that is 1,024. 1,024. 1, is that? Yeah, 1,024. 1,024 inches. That is 80, 84 feet. The height of a, of, a, of a building, yeah? The height of a really tall building. So when people look across look across these things with a telescope, 
yeah, and they focus it in across a across a lake. Why can we see the base of these, the base of these and buildings? So you're here. Let me move this out. Let me move this out. Watch. So you are here. Any any just see any claims you have, I'm going to expect to see the picture. So people can test these at home. It's fun. People can test these at home. I've tested it myself. You've you, so you you test it yourself with a pair of binoculars or a telescope. And you can see the bottom of the building. You cannot, can't see the bottom of the building. Cannot see, you cannot the, see the bottom of the building. Correct. Cannot. You can't see the bottom of the building. Cannot, cannot see the bottom of the building. Yes, that's right. But other people could test it. And if they did test it with a with a pair of binoculars, yeah. you would lose all credit and people would call you a liar. They might, but not in reality because you cannot see the bottom of the buildings. Cool. Well, they can for test example, it. I'm, I'm, for I'm example, across, it you're talking about the Chicago skyline where you cannot see uh, Lakeshore Drive. About anything. I'm talking about anything. We've got yeah. the, the, the the Oxford Strait Water. We've got a canal in the UK where you can test it with a laser beam as well. Yeah, it's been done. Yeah. And it bounces straight off. Doesn't bend, doesn't disappear over the curve. <laughs> Water finds a level. Not actually according to history. Um, I got the book uh, over here. <laughs> Why the do book, I need to trust history? The I'm in 2022. The Christine Garwood I'm book. I'm going to get a laser pen and test this uh, out. I don't said care it's been about done. But I got it. I got it right you, you here. Lie in history, in books. Right here. <clears throat> they're telling. Great. They're telling people at the moment that um, boys can be girls and girls can be boys. It did. Don't. Do you think don't I'm, stay off that topic. Why? Stay off that topic. Why? That's not our topic. But so so we do lie. So the mainstream media. Uh, that's not the topic. Okay. That's not the topic. I, I don't I don't cover that topic. That's not the topic of this conversation. If you want to talk about that conversation that topic, you go find out you go find somebody that covers that topic. Okay. I am employ my employer writes email filtering software. Doesn't matter for this conversation who my employer is either. I write email filtering software. All right. So this is about whether or not the hey, earth listen, is flat. That's the topic. So, so you're going to need to stick to that topic. All right. No, John, let's stick to the truth. God so loved the world. All right. We're, we're, I, what, why are you, all right. Here's what's going on, people. <clears throat> He's gotten destroyed. I'll, I'll show you here, Adam. I will show you, um, why, why I was talking about an airplane because Adam, Right here, I did this myself, Adam. This this picture right here. You said that the horizon never uh, or always rises to eye level, Adam, and you lied when you said that, Adam. And I muted you right now because you are you are misusing religion. You are abusing religion because you're pretending to be a religious person and you're lying about stuff. It's kind of disgusting. So this right here, you said. The horizon always rises at eye level. I personally tested it myself. Right here, this photograph that I took in an airplane with my own camera that I had that I had uh, calibrated the day before at the mouth of the Kenai River. And right here, you can see the horizon did not rise to eye level. There's the moon, Adam. You lied, Adam. I confirmed right now that you're a liar. Right there, the horizon did not rise to eye level. And... Your own math. This is your math. I wasn't straw manning you. This is what Robotham says. There should be no dip of the horizon. Yet there is a dip of the horizon, Adam. I measured it myself. I showed you this particular program here that I wrote myself, testing, doing my own research. You can see the predicted dip of the horizon at that elevation is 3.1 degrees. Now, I could not measure it because the horizon was obstructed by the um <clears throat> i did test myself yes i did test myself and i found that the earth is not flat and what i found by testing myself is that all flat earthers are liars adam every single flat earther i've ever talked to is a liar and i've shown that you're a liar as well right so <clears throat> i did i did test it myself adam so since since you have you have pretended to be a spiritual person and have instead shown yourself to be a liar. It's kind of gross. It's it's definitely not something 
that I want to support because I, I, I care about this particular topic and um, about, there you go, he left. I care about this and and I don't want I don't want to uh, to to put people on that are lying like you right and uh, so anyway this is this is you see two of me right now I'm gonna have to let me let me uh, fix that so there you go there is there is my own personal test I tested it myself you said test it yourself I did there's a predicted dip, dip for the globe right and. Here is uh, my own personal photograph that I took myself in an airplane myself at 35,000 feet. The horizon did not rise to eye level. You lied. Adam, you're a pathological liar. It's very sad. Very sad um, to be a... a um, to pretend, I guess, I don't know, to, to be super spiritual yet lie about stuff. It's kind of gross. So I have some super chats. I'm going to read. Um, <clears throat> so sad. It, it it does make me sad that that somebody would think that they're they're uh, spiritual, but then just uh, hand wave away things that they don't like just because it, it violates their preselected conclusion. So um yeah so he said that this the size of the sun changed size it doesn't and i played a video while he was doing that <clears throat> um and uh pilo 1408 says my eyes say the sun doesn't change size siggy sigwald says is this the hallmarks of a dumpster fire one can only hope yeah, well it kind of did get um he got a little uh <laughs> I didn't, I didn't let it go there though. Did I, I mean, I'm like, yeah, you're going to go off into this nonsense. We're going to, and I've seen that before. All right. You've seen this before when, when faced with facts that they don't like, they get all spiritual. They start talking God. They start quoting the Bible and, and showing some of the, so the, the more disgusting parts of people that are unfortunately spirituals people. So, um, Dean Rizzotti for uh, one pound and no message. Thank you for that, though. <clears throat> and man, devil, keep dragging these human fungi out into the sun to die. Love what you do. Thank you for that. <laughs> Dean Rizzotti again comes back and says um, he has never seen Red's video of the sun. And for, for how many years he said that he's been researching this? He certainly didn't do any research, did he? Second best Bob for five pounds says, as Adam. If he's ever watched any flurf debunking videos, because ask, ask him, because everything he's asked has already been answered. Of course he hasn't. Flurfs do not watch Glober videos. They only, they never leave their echo chambers. We, we learned that from, from Ranty as he exited. He's like, Flurfs never watch these videos. People come on here all the time. They know who I am, but they have never seen any of my videos. I mean, <laughs> you'd think they'd want to do a little research i guess not but we do know flurfs don't do their own research reaper 22 actual for 20 dollars says can't stay for the life can't say stay for the life so let me guess misunderstanding of basic principles and of science while questioning someone else's integrity all of this denying experts in their field and arguing from incredulity and ignorance how did you know it's like you predict the future Pile of 1408 says, Flurfs say, trust your senses. My senses tell me moonlight does not feel cold. The night feels cold, but the moonlight doesn't. He doesn't mean trust your senses. He means trust his senses and only when he says to trust them. <clears throat> Tomato Girl Zoom, he says, can you feel the difference between 31 and 32 degrees Celsius using his hands? Can you tell the exact size of things using his eyes? Our senses are no good. I did paraphrase that. It's do me. Dean Rosati comes back again and says he's never done a proper test in his life. It's clear. That was very clear. Um, <laughs> he, just, he wants me to use the, the thermometer, but then when I said I used it, suddenly that's too good. Too good to use. <laughs> Wait, you know why it's in the other room? 
because turtle loves to chase the the light you know it's it sends out a little laser <laughs> we make him run up the stairs we put it up on the wall he jumps on it jumps for the wall and then we make him run downstairs if yeah i mean he gets his his exercise <laughs> Green Ball says for five Canadian, who taught you that science about controlling variables and making measurements and observations? Why bother? We can when we can just use our instincts. That's right. When you want to support your pre-selected conclusion, definitely don't control for confounding variables, because that would totally ruin it. Paradise DK says, who cleans the dome? Does he have a big ladder? Oh, <clears throat> I'm I'm sure he's he's sent me some message, some hate, uh, some oh yes, <laughs> he sent me some messages on Facebook. Adam, let me tell you, you're being quite disgusting. Serial lying is not a good look, not a good look. Uh, Many Karen says for six shekels, boomer. Who's the who is it? Are you saying that Adam's a boomer? I think he's. I don't know. I'm 13. I'm just 13. Um, <clears throat> Sean Hawkins. Man is a tool-using animal. Without tools, he's nothing. Without tools, he is all. With tools, he is all. Yeah? Yes, he is. Delco says, Eric DeBay is a mason married to a military leader's daughter and a known liar. Nothing wrong with masons, but isn't that your whole conspiracy thing? Is he actually... Um, a mason? Delcos, you need to send me this the, the background on that. I gotta I gotta see that. That'd be interesting. Uh Dean Rizzotti says four years research and did nothing all for himself. Yes, he, he's like, we're gonna prove it by telling other people to go do it themselves. No, that's not how you prove things in the flurf version of science, even. I've never heard a flurf say that that's how you prove things. This is a new attempt at proving things. <clears throat> All right. Tomato Girl Zumi comes again and says, I bet he uses the ID10T model of the Earth. He does. He does. Well, he, he did. I was really surprised. Clearly, he doesn't understand even the beginningest part of math, right? Because this is actually from Robotham. This this is what flat earthers claim when they say the horizon does not or say that the horizon does rise to eye level because this angle right here from where you are to the edge is, is that that angle is going to be small and the people that are infinite earthers it's even more it's even more right so it's go, it's got to be very small you're right the horizon must not must rise to eye level if the earth is flat but it doesn't adam you never tested i did you're a liar, Adam. It's not a good look. Um, all right. Ooh, it's a new one here. F S T R E L Nice. Uh Fistrel Nice for one uh, for ten sex. Says, oh, it's no message. Well, thank you for that. Siggy wants Mallory in. Mallory, are you there? Send me a message, Mallory. You could come in for a minute. Um, <clears throat> uh, Al Marju says, for $5, how do you explain circling stars like around Polaris and not left to right looking towards south? Is Sigma Octantis moving left to right, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m.? <coughs> of course, his answer would have been something like, well, I didn't do it myself. <clears throat> right? <laughs> he got... He got confused when I drew mountains on, on this. There's no, I don't know where the mountains are that he, but he, he actually, I think what he did is he was trying to say that there's mountains in the way, right? Because he, he couldn't, he couldn't focus long enough to re to, to remember that this was in an airplane, 35,000 feet, 6.7 miles in elevation. He couldn't deal with that. And he's like, well, there's mountains. To not understand 
even basic stuff like this and think that at the same time, you're smarter than all the scientists in the world. You're not actually, right? You're not. <coughs> I got a, got a little cough. That was another cough drop there going. So, um, many Karen says, huh, the odd Olight was at. Oh, oh, I Oh, oh, I don't know. I don't get it. Sorry, many. I don't get it. Or was that about, uh, you, you liking, you liking the masculine men? <laughs> Gary Hubenga says, I like this guy. He's almost as smart as me. Thank you, Gary Hubenga. <laughs> <laughs> nothing ever works. Flat Earthers, you, nothing, you, nothing you ever do works. Yes, Turquoise Laura, definitely correct on that. And he is, I mean, I'm not going to say, I'm going to, but yeah, that's definitely the case. El Marju says, you're saying the recorded video is not the same. Oh, I love it when, when, when these people that don't understand optics are going to go and say, oh, this is how your eye works. But a camera does the same thing. Oh, well, cameras are the same. Okay. Curved lenses. No, because your eye just, let me just really drill this in for you. Your eye sees this as straight. <clears throat> in reality, this is straight. So how does your eye work? Because it's curved? Doesn't. That that's a, that's not anything. This looks straight. This is straight. Okay? So how the eye works isn't isn't something that any flurf actually knows about. Uh, let's see. Uh, Broken Record says, okay, nice friends. I go to Toon's other channel to see more people destroyed. Very good show. It was fun. See you next time. We'll see you next time. Broken Record. S. Engramson says for 750 ISK, which I think is that's Icelandic kroners, right? No message, but thank you for that. Um, and uh, being that I am a, a Minnesotan and therefore basically a Viking, I do uh, I do know. I know Icelandic so well. My daughter was saying the other way, other day she wants to move to Iceland because she wants to learn Icelandic. Ryan Peck says he he's gonna be so mad when he soon sees Toons the Adelaide pick. He did not. He was so good at evading he didn't even get to see it. I tried to I tried to sneak it in at the end. Oh, all right. Here we go. Uh, F for Strel Nice says, for whatever reason, the text disappeared. And now I forgot, but he was a uh, one kind of even for a flurf. F. Oh, OK, here we go. F Stren. What? There's a sort of F Stren Strel Nietzsche. How's that? Strel Nietzsche? Sorry if I got it wrong. <laughs> I'm trying. I try to get it. I try to get it right. Pile of 1408 says, why should reality owe us to be simple? It doesn't, right? A computer is incredibly complicated and we humans built that. Surely your God's creation is more so. Yeah. God's creation can be incredibly complex. God being all powerful and all knowing doesn't need to make something simple, <clears throat> right? <laughs> I need tea and honey. <laughs> Many Karens is dip formula. <laughs> number something, number plus, not important times, or yes, that comes up to old man. Can you tell what it comes up to? Ah, there it is. Yeah, so he did not want my formula for the dip of the horizon. Instead, he wanted to provide his own. And then when he couldn't find it, he wanted me to provide it. Which, which I wasn't about to do since he had already pre-rejected it. And then, because he knew that he couldn't get the dip of the horizon for the globe, he went to the wrong formula for bottom-up obstruction. It's all they do. Eight inches per mile squared is their mantra. The wrong formula, flurfs. There is an appropriate usage for that, but I've never seen a flurf actually use it in its appropriate usage. <clears throat> Layel says the surface of the water's level means that the higher we go above the surface of the water, we see a greater distance 
we see forms a right triangle and this creates a depression angle. Yes, exactly. That's it right here. That's a good way to put it. <clears throat> if it's level, as they say, as you go up, there will be a dip. Not much, but there will be a dip. <clears throat> um, David Dorenzo says, are you a fungi? Because th this is a poop take. <laughs> or is, is that meant to be a chocolate soft serve ice cream take? Oh, he just, yeah. Judy Bassett for 10 euros says, Adam is not dumb. This is just all over his head. Clearly the topic <clears throat> he didn't quite get. <laughs> Stringfellow Hawk for $5 says, we all know your employer is NASA, you and FTP. Hey, if they wanted to, they could. I've yet to get any money from NASA. <laughs> Andreas Eld for 20 sex says, ask someone to peel off the yellow stickers. <clears throat> these, these stickers, that's a good idea. <laughs> what I have done in the past is I've had people, um, put marker, like a, a Sharpie mark on it, but they, they rub off. I could peel off the yellow. <laughs> Andre had all, you need to stop smoking the flurfs. That cough is getting worse. I picked up a cough a couple days ago, so. Um, it's better. It's, it was it was worse yesterday. Yesterday I'm like, oh, hope I'm hoping better. I am mostly. Um, <clears throat> we got Stephen Cause says we have extra time. Can we bring Mallory on? All right, I didn't see a message from Mallory yet. She's not here. Is she here, Mallory? Send me a message. I'll send you the link. You can join. Uh, and Weisskopf is in the chat. Weisskopf, get ready. I'm going to absolutely demolish you later today. You're invited to join, but you don't have to be there. I will demolish you in absentia. It's going to be great and very embarrassing for you. You probably want to run away. You probably want to change your name, move to a different state, get plastic province, get plastic surgery, and uh, don't tell your parents. Don't tell your parents because they're going to be embarrassed. Uh, Siggy Sigwell says, bring Mallory into it. I don't even see her here. I right, tell you what, I will grab, I'll grab the, uh, I'll just send it to her quick. I, I do have another one coming at eight and I have to do, I have to create the thumbnail at least for the wise cough destruction. Um, <clears throat> so Mallory changed her name on, on uh, discord to Mal nerdy. Mal nerdy. There you go. Uh-huh. All right. <clears throat> um, mm -mm. there it is. All right. I caught up with everything. I sent a message to Mallory. We'll see if, if she shows up, but anyway, uh, what time is MC2 and 8 o'clock in the UK? Yes, you're five hours off from us now. So um, in the UK, in the UK, it will be 8 plus 5, which will be 13 o'clock, right? 1 a.m. All right. <clears throat> well, poor Adam. He sent me a whole bunch of crap because he's a little butthurt because he got caught up for lying. So, um, oh my gosh, David Dorenzo sent me a message on Facebook with a gigantic one of these things. These aren't nearly as fun to solve as these, because <laughs> I can do these. I Those I'm not too good at. Um, <clears throat> White Mahogas doesn't debate MC Tune because she's a coward. Yeah, well, if you get off topic, I gotta say, if you get off topic, I'm gonna... It, it ends if you go off topic. All right. Um... <clears throat> Are you doing this? Uh, there was a 750, almost, I think 800 people, 900 people. Wow. Thank you people. This was, this was uh fun. Uh, thank you to, um, Adam King for coming in and, uh, showing the true character 
of the flurf, right? The true character of the flurf. It's it's unfortunate. It's really sad. Let me. I'll show you this uh, while while I'm here before I go. This is the program I wrote. It's uh, online gdb.com. You can write Python code in here and or other languages. You can see here different languages it supports. Um, oh, you don't see my cursor. So anyway, you can change right here. I say the height of the observer, 11,074 meters. That is that I, um, six, 6.7 miles or 35,000 feet. That's pre pre added in, um, radius of the earth there. And then, so this, this adjusts for refraction It outputs both refracted and non-refracted. So first, the first step is to get the distance to the horizon gets it in miles. Uh, if you're wondering, this is how I like to write my code. This is what variables look like to me. So the dip horizon, uh, the horizon dip in degrees, you got then the distance horizon apparent, miles apparent, a horizon dip in radius, because everything's done in radians, and then you got to convert in, in Python here. So anyway, so then it outputs it. Earth radius. Earth radius adjusted for refraction. So one of the tricks in um, doing the math is to is because because the refraction causes light to to bend slightly. <coughs> um, you you it effectively makes the Earth appear slightly larger. Stronger refraction causes it to appear slightly larger, and more refraction causes it to more make it appear even more larger. Uh, so here we are, the height of the observer. There it is. So the geometric, so these, these are the things that the flurfs always think that you need to talk about. They don't, they intentionally ignore refraction because it hurts them. The distance to the horizon is, uh, 376,000 meters or 200, which is 37 kilometers. Uh, sorry. 376 kilometers. And then uh, distance in miles, 233 miles, giving it a dip of 3.3 degrees. And the apparent, now the apparent is, is estimating. And at that elevation, a, a 7 over 6R is the appropriate estimation, though the American Meteorological Society uses 4 over 3 for things closer to the ground. And that's more appropriate over the ground. And But it's definitely not enough over water unless you have the actual measurements. So anyway, there it is. There's a predicted dip estimate uh, and uh, 3.1 degrees dip is the refraction dip prediction of the horizon at 35,000 feet. There it is. That's what you should see on the globe. And on flat earth, it should be, it should be this, right? A very small amount, 0 0.0317. Now this is unrefracted. No flat earther has ever uh, produced a, a mechanism for doing flat earth uh, refraction analysis. Let me do this before I go. Um, and I did, did see another one come in. Uh, Albino bad guy says, I very much respect you for immediately shutting down anyone who gets off topic and onto some disgusting nonsense. Also, like booby poopy, <laughs> like titty caca. Now, I actually, I, I stopped listening to him. I took, I took the earbud out. I don't know what he said. Um, I did. I do know that he he went. He he did, and the Trey Hutchinson did this too. As soon as he gets shut down, and all these things, in fact, they just run, 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 run to the Bible. Like, why? You have shown yourself to be a liar. Why would you then try to tie yourself to the Bible to make Christians look like liars? That's gross. No Christian wants that. None. All right. Um. He did not say CGI. I would have gotten bingo if he said CGI. We've got poorly done flat earth experiments. We've got water finds its level. Bad math. Okay, definitely bad math. Uh, C too far. Claims without evidence. Demanding proof. NASA. Um, yeah. Oh, he said dome firmament. Of course. He said eight inches per mile squared. Um, we didn't talk about gravity. Oh, he did mention before. Did he say moon landing while you were on here? Uh, 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 I don't know. Um, I think so. 
He said it to me. If it wasn't during, he said it to me before. There you go. No bingo. Oh, no, I did. I got I got diagonal. There it is. We got fake, wandering stars, incredibly bad math, and NASA. There it is. Uh, Golden Knight, when I learned Python, did I go full Monty? Of course I did. Um, I will tell you this. I my The book that I used was the O'Reilly book that's got the rat on the cover. I loved it. He did say moon landing. Okay, thank you. Talk briefly before, beforehand, and and so. <clears throat> All right, second best. Bob says, "Got to go to bed." Well, thank you very much. I do have uh, another one with um, the Daniel coming up, and uh, I don't think the Daniel will be quite so uh, run to uh, run to uh, religion and have not. Eh, I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, there he is, Adam King coming in here. Ask him what degree he is in the lodge. Well, Adam, I am not a Freemason. I do I do mock flat earthers and their uh their their Freemasonry ideas. Um but well, let me just get it. Hold on a second. I need a drink out of my mason jar. Ah, oh, that's some good tune shine there in my mason jar. This was not free though, so it wasn't a free mason jar. I bought it on eBay. It was $17. Um, anyway, yeah, Adam, bad look to be a liar, bad look. Anyway, um, I'm going to, I'm going to shut this down and in an hour and 15 minutes, cause Mallory did not show up. I think I know someone, hold on, hold on. <coughs> Mallory isn't home. So why are you people saying bring Mallory on? What's up with that? Oh, oh, the theodolite, the O light. The odd O light. That's I got it. Okay. So anyway, thank you very much for for coming along. Um, I will have uh, I will have to, I got two more tonight. So uh, be ready because it's uh, there's more coming. And uh, the Daniel he sounds pretty fun actually. Um, he uh, the Daniel wrote a poem about me. I comment. I I uh, um, I did a community post on my conspiracy tunes channel. Linking to to that that uh, he actually did two two poems, so anyway, that's coming up in a little bit. Uh, so be sure to to jump in for that, <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna be demolishing Weiskopf's. Um, Weiskopf actually confirmed the globe um, in his attempt at doing the celestial navigation challenge. So I do appreciate very much for that, Weiskopf. I will be demolishing you anyway. So. So there it is. Everybody, we will see you in a little bit. do see a couple judy bassett did a member chat that said adam has a child's concept of science that's being generous and jolene said would you hire a carpenter who uses their eyes only of course i would never do that carpenters you need to use instruments to measure stuff you need to use instruments to measure the shape of the earth it turns out unless you're hard you know in space and orbiting like 600 people have then you could just you know look at it and see oh look at that it's a sphere all right we'll see you